Mark, a rearranged game against Bromley. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Um, one we're, we're excited about. There's a, there's a big prize at the end of it if we can deliver and perform. Um, you know, I think we've had plenty of positives in the in our last performances, our last four or five games, and uh, we're looking to certainly build on those positives, learn the lessons that we've learned along the way, and uh, yeah, make sure we put our best foot forward. Obviously, the key word from Saturday was being clinical in front of goal. Has that been, you know, the priority given in, given our focus into this game? I think it's always been a, a priority. Um, you know, we we work hard every, every day, and probably that's the bit we are where we are is probably due to our, our lack of goals. Um, but. We're certainly getting a lot more openings, there's a lot more attacking intent, I feel. I think we're breaking, we're making chances, and it's only a matter of time till we start putting some of those away. Um, and that will really feel, feed the confidence of the group as well. So, uh, like I said, there's, there's plenty of positives. You know, you worry when you're not making any chances, and, and there was stages of the season where we, we did dry up uh, quite a lot. But we, we're, we're definitely opening teams up now, we're creating more chances for ourselves, and, and hopefully it's only a matter of time till we um, take those. Good. Looking at the home Bromley game, obviously that was one of your first games in charge. Looking at that game there to where we are now, how do you reflect on it? Yeah, it's been uh, you know a lot's gone on on since then. We've had um, you know ups and downs and trials and tribulations, but it's just important that we uh, you know we we haven't got time to look back. Um, we certainly can't look too far forward at the moment. We can only keep our eye on the, on the next game, and that's 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 the way we've been since we've been in here. Um, it's certainly the, the case now. You know, it's full focus on on this game, playing against a very good Bromley side. They've shown this season what a good side they are. Obviously, in the trophy final, we've been high up in the league all, all season, and uh, you know they might not have had the results they might not wanted lately, but I'm sure that only uh, fires them up even more. So we got to make sure that we. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're right on our game. The prize is so big for us. Um, we've just got to remain, remain focused, know our roles and responsibilities and, and have the confidence to carry them out. You mentioned the prize are obviously another win from now to the end of the season. We'll see us mathematically safe. Have plans been made into next season, given that perform over that result this, this, week, this season? Um, I think you always have one eye very loosely on, on the future, but we, we can't afford to even look there yet. Um, you know, it's, it's full focus on this game. Once we're mathematically safe, we can start to maybe put, put some of our ideas and plans forward. Um, but till, till then, we, uh, it's full focus on the game. Injury-wise, obviously Ryan Glover's announced he's out for the rest of the season. We've got a few players hoping to be back. What's the latest on all those? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, Ryan, he's been playing with a, with a hernia all, all season. And um, he, he had a very small window for him to get, get an operation done. So, um, you know, he's... You know, we thank him for his efforts. He's, um, I think, he's had a real great experience on loan with us. Um, you know, he's always full of, full of running and enthusiasm, and, and I'm sure he's gained a lot from it. We've certainly, you know, gained a lot from having him here as well, and we'd like to thank him for his efforts and, and wish him best in, in his operation and, and his comeback from that. Fortunately, it's a, you know, a fairly normal procedure now, and he won't be out too long. But I think it was important for his his career that he he, he gets in and gets that gets that done. Of course, Sinclair and other players as well. I'm assuming with Sinclair, we still wait and see whether we're QPR allowing him to go. Yeah, like, like I said, look, a concussion issue with someone of that age, there's certain protocols and, um, you know, they're being adhered to and, and rightly so. And, um, you know, we just hope we get to see him before, before the end of the season. It's, it's frustrating for us, as we know. Um, you know, he could be a real good, good asset for us, but it's full focus on the players that are available. Uh, and, and, you know, they've got to be ready to take their responsibility of wearing the shirt and uh, carry this club forward in the best way they can. Are you in the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.